Hello, welcome to Digit Math. Today we're going to learn about adding two digit numbers. Are you ready? We'll go through 10 questions together, so let's test your skills. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Let's go! 74 plus 58 is... Time to think. Let's go to the solution. In the units column, add 4 and 8. 4 plus 8 equals 12. So we place 2 in the units place and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, add 7 and 5. 7 plus 5 equals 12. And add the carried over 1 to make 13. So the final result is 74 plus 58 equals to 132. 56 plus 19 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, add 6 and 9. This equals 15, so we place 5 in the units column and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, Add 1 carried over to 5 from 50 and 1 from 19, which equals 7. So the final result is 56 plus 19 equals 75. 78 plus 28 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 8 plus 8, which equals 16. We write down the 6 and carry over the 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, we have 7 plus 2, which equals 9. Adding the carried over 1, we get 10. So the final result is 78 plus 28 equals 106. 85 plus 57 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, uh, add 5 plus 7, which equals 12. Write down 2 and carry the 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, Add 8 plus 5, which equals 13. Add the carried over 1, making it 14. So the final result is 85 plus 57 equals to 142. 46 plus 49 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, you add 6 and 9. Summing them gives 15. Place 5 in the units place and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, add 4 and 4, which equals to 8. Add the carried over 1 to that, giving 9. So the final result is 46 plus 49 equals 95. 83 plus 49 is time to think. Let's proceed to the solution. To solve the addition, add 83 and 49. In the units column, add 3 and 9, which equals 12. Place 2 in the units column and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, add 8, 4, and the carried over 1, making 13. Pause. Place 13 in the tens and hundreds column. Therefore, the final result is 83 plus 49 equals 132. 25 plus 17 is time to think.
Let's go to the solution. In the units column, we have 5 plus 7, which equals 12. We place 2 in the units column and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, we have 2 plus 1 plus 1 carried over, which equals 4. So the final result is 25 plus 17 equals to 42. Fifty-four plus thirty-nine is... Time to think. Let's go to the solution. In the units column, we have four plus nine. Adding four and nine, we get thirteen. Since thirteen is a double-digit number, we put three in the units column and carry over one to the tens column. In the tens column, we have five plus three, which equals eight. Add the carried over one to eight, making it nine. So the final result is 54 plus 39 equals 93. 67 plus 27 is time to think. go to the answer. To solve, add 67 and 27 together. In the units column, add 7 and 7, which equals 14. Place 4 in the units column and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, add 6, 2, and the carried over 1, which equals 9. So the final result is 67 plus 27 equals 94. 27 plus 17 is... Time to think. Let's go to the solution. In the units column, we have 7 plus 7, which equals 14. Write 4 and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, we have 2 plus 1 plus the carried over 1, totaling 4. So the final result is 27 plus 17 equals to 44. Great job. You've just completed 10 questions on adding two digit numbers. Keep practicing and you'll become a math pro in no time. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digit Math for more fun math lessons. See you in the next video.